Donna. Hi. 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 Sarah is my partner, Stevie. Hi. Nice to meet you. 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 Yeah, come on in. I have done my own research on this house, but uh, obviously with you working here and uh, experiencing it on your own, what have been your own personal experiences and what year was this was this place built? Do you know exactly? This house was built in the 1890s. Um, I've heard the footsteps. Um, I've heard the, the child cries, the laughs, the voices um, many times. Now, I've heard you've also been scratched. Yes, I've been scratched on my arm. And then the other night I was scratched on my shoulder, mm -hmm. or actually the shoulder blade, and it was hot to the touch, it was red. How many different uh, entities have you experienced? How many we have been guess? told that there's been several, yeah. several of them, not just one, not just two, but you know, like in one of the rooms, a family of four has passed in that room from yellow fever. Amelie, uh, her lover never returned from the Civil War, and she lost her child so those are two traumatic events she went through then she moved here my understanding is she moved here to live with her uncle so this place was built by her uncle in the in the 1890s right it was okay and then later on i'm not sure what happened to the uncle but the brothers was living here and she didn't want to go back home to mom so she just wound up staying here okay. for the rest of her time i know she was a little girl it was like i said you know she didn't want to live with mom and so she came here, but was said that she died at 23 or was pushed in the well at 23. And when they cleaned the well out, they found two bodies. Right, right. So, so part of my investigation is trying to find out who that other body was. I'm assuming right. uh, it was the, the body of her, of her lover. Yeah. Uh, so. so we're assuming, but then, you know, also word is that somebody is buried, which they could have said it's Amelie. Right. Buried outside on grounds by the fatal doe. Interesting. So, because they wouldn't bury her on sacred ground. Right. Because, because of what she had done. Exactly. Interesting. So. Okay. Well, that's our job. Because we're staying. Oh, there are two beds in here. God. Okay. This was her room. Okay. Um, this is where she lost her baby. Okay. She, Amelie, lost the baby? Right. Okay. Right. And um, the bathroom was her happy place. So that's where she sat and cried. I hear like a buzzing and it's kind of like, vib like the air is vibrating and I'm, I've had it since we walked in, like vibrating around my head. Uh, a lot of times paranormal um, energy will drain your equipment. That has happened to me before. Mm -hmm. uh, phones I just charged, uh, that had just been charged will suddenly die. Equipment can die. So let's make sure we're working so far. This is the spirit box. Oh my God. And you got the EMF meter. Okay. The baseline here is already one light over zero, so. Okay, so we're gonna start out in Amelie's room. Uh, according to history, Amelie uh, unfortunately lost her baby. Uh, baby died shortly after birth or stillborn? Stillborn. Stillborn. Uh, as she mourned in the bathroom. The bathroom was considered her happy place and she would mourn regarding over her, uh, the death of her child. And that was her only child, correct? Mm -hmm. It's really sad, poor Amelie. Donna, you said that a lot of people have complained, uh, I mean, have uh, said they've experienced um, a lot of activity underneath that guest bed. Under this guest bed, yes, the little twin bed. Okay. As luck would have it, I get to stay in this room all by myself tonight because you gotta go home with her fiance. I'm going to be here all by myself all night long. <laughs> okay, the way that the spirit box, work, box works is it is, we have it in sweet reverse mode. Everything's going backwards right now. So if any words come through that are audible and clear, then that means it is a voice that we're picking up uh, from a paranormal uh, entity. Because any human voices that are coming through right now or picking up on any kind of uh, radio stations will be going backwards. Any word that's going forwards and audible is something that we'll be picking up on here. As a mother myself, I cannot fathom the emotions you must have gone through losing your one and only child. So my heart goes out to you. And I hope you don't mind us being here tonight in, in your home. And I hope that you will bless us with your, uh, your presence. And if there's anything you want people to know, any answers you want, to give us uh, clarity, please talk to us. Um, we're, we mean no harm. We're not here to, to invade on your space or your privacy or your territory. 
So we ask that you will please talk to us, open up to us. Is there if anything you want to say? These modern day equipment that you do not obviously recognize, um, we'll pick it up and we'll we'll uh, communicate with us. So again, thank you, Amelie, for letting us in your home tonight and. Hope you don't feel invaded on, and please feel free to talk with us. Amelie? Are you or any other spirit present here with us at this time? I want to go in the bathroom, though. She said that she was crying in there. Yes, okay. Go ahead and go into the bathroom. This is Amelie's happy place. Amelie, we are entering your happy place. I was told this was your happy place, which is funny because I call my bathroom my happy place too. Is there anything in here you would like to say to us? Well, she likes her uh, shower. Picking up on something. Yeah, the air actually feels colder right here too if you want to feel it. It's a tiny room. We picked up on some uh, activity on our EMF reader. This is a spirit box. You can actually talk to me through the spirit box. You want to go upstairs? I'm going to check under the bed first. So there was apparently some EMF happening under uh, <laughs> under this bed, but nobody's under the bed right now. Very low anything. I don't think there's anything under the bed right now. We're definitely picking up on EMF activity in here. I haven't picked yeah, up anything definitely. on the spirit box yet. So no, so far no one has spoken to us, but we are picking up on some uh, EMF activity for sure. It was stronger in the in the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any idea why I'm under this bed sure. in particular? I don't. I wonder if it uh, could be residual energy from the floor or under the floor. Let's just sit here and talk. It's like when we talk about other things, okay. I think she doesn't feel so intimidated. Yeah. Okay, so... So let's tell a story real quick. Okay, so the other night we were testing out our um, EMF reader at my house, and my dog who passed away in 2017, um, I had her cremated, so I have her, her little box on top of her sweater, and then um, her collar on top of that. So we went through the entire house. We we checked outlets and switches and TVs and everything. Um, appliances and nothing nothing throughout my entire house we went through every combed every corner but the very last corner that we did was the side of the room where my dresser is where my dog's things were and she pointed it and it went all the way up and I'm like okay so I, I got I'm getting chills again mm -hmm. so we I let's do process of elimination I took all of her things down and I brought it over to the bed she goes to the corner nothing now so I said come see so I take her collar and I hold it up to it. It goes up one point. Put the collar down. I take her ashes and it goes up uh, two. Uh -huh. I put the ashes down. I took her sweater. It's just, there's no metal on the sweat. It's just a sweater. Right. And I put it up. It goes up one. So I put them all together and it went all the way back up. And we did it again three times after that. And it never happened again. It never happened a second time. It's like she just wanted to say hi. And that was it. Oh, do you have the key for the attic? I do. Okay. Thank you. Feel free to go back and forth if you want. Don't don't worry about inter you're totally welcome to join in on us at any time. Don't worry about interfering. It's not interfering, interrupting. So there's we got a few things going on here. We have her feeling trapped. She wants the truth to be told. I mean, there's nothing worse than being accused of something you didn't do. And if she did not commit suicide, she wants her story to be told. Right. And if somebody pushed her into the well, or threatened her, or forced her into the well, anybody would want. Uh, you know justice right and when they cleaned the well out it was two bodies they did find two bodies down two the bodies well. who was the other person we're thinking the boyfriend him. the mystery or what yeah the so he could have been hung by that tree and then thrown into that well anything could happen. that's what's coming to me so i really don't want to be up there when y'all are doing this with our investigations we like to start out with just a protection of of prayer my partner and i and donna here were just talking about praying uh before continuing further with this investigation. As we were doing so, Donna was talking about some holy oil she had, and suddenly she said she felt something on her back, and she asked my she partner asked if, back was burning, if, if there was if it was red marks on it. And then oh, she turned like around, what you and this is what, and look, now there, it's more now. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually adding. Oh. There's scratch, you're getting scratched, girl. And Donna has complained about being scratched. She is, the she's getting scratched. Very often they'll scratch in threes. It's starting to welt um, right here. You see? 
Yeah, there's one, two, and it actually looks like a few of them here. There's, there's a lot. And it does feel warm to the touch. Can we check the other side, Donna? Uh, Stevie and I are also, aside from our paranormal, uh, you're, you're getting scratched on the other side. You had a welt on that side. And that just formed too, because whenever just, you turn. That wasn't there. That wasn't ago. there. No. We're, uh, so Stevie and I are also outside. medics. That's how Protect. Stevie and I originally met each other 10 years ago working on an ambulance together. So um, we are debunking any medical <laughs> issue here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's really interesting. And that did not happen until she mentioned uh, holy oil. So that's again reinforcement as to possible demonic activity here. So I'm going outside now. So we're going outside we're now to do our protection. We've been in here for an hour. People are getting clawed. I'd like to go outside. <laughs> Okay, here we are in the infirmary. This is where um, people with uh, yellow fever, uh, when they were dying, tell me. they kept people. You telling me this story? As they were dying, in this small, what, maybe two foot by width space, in here, the bodies were were kept uh, as they were dying. Imagine being stuffed in a small space and knowing that you're dying and that this is where your life is ending inside a closet. The bathroom I'm about to go into right here was also used as uh, the infirmary where they put uh, the bodies that were laying down to, to die. Stevie, can you go ahead? I'm, I'm, uh, my meter is spiking in here. Okay. Again, like I said, uh, this was used as an infirmary. Could you yeah, bring over the spirit box and let's see if we get anything. I'm also going to turn down some of the lighting in here. Amelie, are you in here? Or any other spirit want to let their presence be known? Please do so now. We are, we are paranormal eavesdroppers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amelie, you can use the spirit box or any other spirit that might be here. You can speak to us through this box. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard a name, but it wasn't, it wasn't loud enough. It wasn't loud enough. <laughs> we do need to get the headphones and share. I heard a male voice say a name, but I, I didn't get, I didn't hear it good enough. And yeah, we're getting a good, pretty good spike on the meter. There was definitely a male voice. Yeah, I heard it too. I'm getting a spike here in the infirmary. Could you please give us a name of who's here with us now? Jesse? Yeah, I heard it. Jess? Yeah. Either that or Jeff. Jesse or Jeff? Oh, Jeff. You heard Jeff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, forgive me for asking again, but would you, would you mind saying your name one more time? He's kind of on audio. Once. He said once. Yeah. Like he only didn't want to repeat his name, but said once. Ask, okay. it once. Okay. How many spirits are present with us now? In this room. Two. Two. I heard two. I heard two voices say two. I heard two. Two. So don't be afraid to or telegraph back in the old days. <laughs> don't be afraid to talk to us through this, please. So stay. I heard that too. How many people died in this room? Sounded like I heard an eight and then a six in a different voice. Would you mind repeating that again? Could you please let us know how many people died in this room? Six. Said it again? Six. You keep, you keep getting six. Yeah, I got six a couple times now. Okay, we are going to wear the well. It's under the floorboards. Under the floorboards. The well where Amelie and another body were found. It's presumably right under these floorboards, this area is where the well is. Um, if we go outside and look at it, you'll see it's now it's covered by a concrete slab. Um, let's see if we pick up anything. Okay, it was a real person. 
See, and now the volume is going down again. It's something is messing and draining the battery of my, here we go. We are above the well right now where two bodies are found. Could you tell us who those bodies were of? Amelie and who else? Okay, not only do I see the slab, uh -huh. but I also see a, like a, di di um, a dip in the ground. You see? Yeah. That, are we sure that's not the well filled in? It's, no, the well, they did fill it in. She said there was concrete slab uh, over it though. The well is under the house here. It is now covered with a concrete slab. But I'd like to try to get some answers. So, is there any spirit present with us down here? Ghost, I heard ghost. I heard it too. Wow. There is also a big old oak tree in the up here, like I was talking to Donna earlier, that caught my attention when I came to pay Donna a visit the other day. She said three other mediums have also been drawn to this oak tree. Now they're, like she said, there's no record of any hangings that have ever taken place. But I'm just wondering if, uh, if they did find the body of her lover in the well with her, if that possibly could have been hung by this old oak tree. This tree, if you look up there, that big knot, the first knot, right there. See it, Stevie? Yep. Um, during the time when Amelie lived here, during the Civil War era, that knot was down here. So that's how much this tree has grown since then. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling something on this right now? I am. So I don't want to leave this spot. I feel like there's something we need to know about this spot. So I don't want to leave this spot yet. Did anything happen by this tree that's of any significance that you want us to know about? Was anybody hung in this, by this, in this tree? You sound like me? I heard that. Yeah. Me. Oh, who's me? What's, what, can you give me a name, please? Everett? Everett? Yeah. Everett, were you Amelie's lover? Yep. Did you hear that, or is that just me? Mm -hmm. Heard it. Okay. okay. Uh, Everett or Amelie, what other, is there a certain part of the house you'd like us to go to now? Attic. You attic. just said attic. I heard, I heard attic. Yeah. We all three oh, heard attic. Okay. Well, I got chills, and we've got our answer, so. Okay. <laughs> So far on the EVP, we have uh, heard, all three of us have heard, uh, 26, no, uh, six people were in the field in the infirmatory, died in the infirmatory, I should say. Um, Said so the lover's name, of Amelie's lover was named Everett, and told us to go into the attic. So most people will not go into the attic. You heard the manager say so herself. She won't even go in there. So I have the key. You ready to go in the attic? Yeah, I got chills. <laughs> so I like to start out with the holy oil and the uh, blessed salt at the beginning. But I don't know about carrying it on us the whole time because it might keep entities away from us and we want to catch footage of the entities. I know, but I don't want to catch scratches. Well, I don't care if I get scratched as long as nothing is attached to me. <laughs> well, I'll keep it on me and you get scratched. <laughs> Surrender your goods. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, yeah. I don't chase anything away. This could be our uh, one more chance to catch something. We've been blessed. The holy oil is on our skin. When I was a kid, I always wanted like big old houses with attics to explore. Now's our chance. We got a big spike. Yeah. On the, on the, okay. I'm just my in the threshold, literally. Hey. I'm across the threshold. The manager told me that everybody who's who's uh, investigated this place before felt something if they stand directly in the middle of the TV and a mirror that you're going to see over here on the right. So let me go first. I'm going to show you. Turn on the light. Um, no. We're going to do this in the dark. <laughs> I'm going to go first. I'm going to show you where to stand and I want you to stand there and tell me what you feel. Now, guests and investigators both have uh, complained of a physical feeling they get when they come into this room. I, I feel it. I felt it when I came here to speak with the manager prior to uh, prior to today, so I want to see uh, if you're, what you're feeling. Uh -uh. Do you feel anything? Yeah. What is it? My chest is hurting. Chest! Chest! 
That was it. My chest is hurting. Everybody that's been in this room has complained of a heaviness on their chest. So I had a vision and I channeled that uh, an old man died of a heart attack in that corner. So I would like for you to see if you can get a spike on that. It's just dead in the center of the room. Right in the center? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to ask some questions now. Turn on my spirit box. Well, I liked you, Stevie, because it went away when you left. Okay, is there a spirit present with us here in the 1890 room? Can you speak to me, please, to the spirit box? Can you give us a name, please? Can you tell us what happened in this room? I thought I heard Trey, but I've been... Prayer oh, yeah. wise I, I, I vision a lot of prayer took place in here. I see a female praying and an old man dying in this room. No? I say no or go. Probably go. Did anybody die in this room? Yes. I said yes, I thought I think I said over there. Or it says something about over there. Pregnant. Heard pregnant again. I'm kinda of wanting to sit this one out. Does anybody wanna say anything? Any spirit wanna say anything to me while well, I'm here? Now's your chance. I'm going to go back to the center of the room. The energy seemed to be the strongest there. Yep, pick it up on it again. I think it interacts better with you, Stevie, because it senses your fear. Okay. I guarantee you hold it. It's going to go up again. Watch. Come over here and hold it. But I did my uh, protection thing just now, too, though. It stopped. Right there. It's pointing towards the attic. I just said attic and it lit up. And it told us to go to attic earlier. Okay, yeah, real quick before we go to the attic, I do want to make one more stop. This bathroom over here, uh, a lot of, again, a lot of guests, a lot of staff members, and people driving by have claimed to see the spirit of a woman, a silhouette, standing in this window, holding the curtain open at night. Just like this. So everybody who's seen it has claimed it to be the spirit of Amelie. So let's see if she's with us. Any spikes, Stevie? Yeah, well, whenever you were talking about it, but then it stopped. Okay. And now the volume's completely down. Something keeps messing with the spirit box. She's actually probably standing right where you're standing. Uh, she is in this room. I feel her, and I think she's standing where you're standing, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the EV? What's the monitor say? It keeps, keeps going spiking. up to the middle. Mm-hmm. the volume all the way up. And listen to it. The volume is all the way up. And there's no sound. It's on, the volume is all the way up, and something is definitely, and that, that's very common with paranormal uh, activity, it, can dr it, 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 it feeds off energy and electricity, it's, it, it, drained. It, it, it drained, it drained your microphone. It drained it. Mm -hmm. I, find this I, was I find I'm keenly aware there's a mirror behind me, and it feels like something almost heavy and warm right behind me. Is your phone on you? See if we catch anything behind him. Oh, just right before it took, I got orbs, but hang on. Wait, I got orbs. Did it work? Oh, yeah, it flew right in front of him. Yeah. Look, look, watch. Right in front of him. You saw it? Orbs. Yeah. Right by your left up your uh, right arm. Watch. Yep. Try that spot I was in. Yeah, this is spiking. It almost feels like there's something behind you. Yeah. It's warm and heavy. 
It's been, oh, I've been, it's been warm and heavy, and, and so I've been in here. This is, this is getting some, uh, it was, it was, until I came next to you. What if we talk about the attic? Yeah, we're going to go in the attic here next. <laughs> it's something about that attic. Uh-huh, and it lights up. But why did you drain the volume on my spirit box? This is my only way of being able to talk with you. I'm going to turn it off and turn it on again. I'm thinking we're wasting time. I think we should go in the attic. I think it's where, I obviously every time I mention attic, it spikes. See that? You catching that, Mike? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is the attic going to be even worse for me than that room? Because that room was pretty, like, top notch for me. Only one way to find out. <laughs> All right, y'all ready for the attic? Yeah. <sighs> Flashlight on. Look at the strange dangerous. pattern of the mold on the door. I mean, does that look, like, particularly creepy the way it's... Yeah, I don't know why, but it is a little bit creepy. Huh. I'm more afraid of spiders than anything. Else. There's no <laughs> spiders in here. But the funny thing is, though, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but I'm afraid of spiders. Okay, we're in the attic. Who's with us in here? I heard Everett again. You can talk to us either through the spirit box or audibly. If you want to just, if you can speak out loud, speak to us. Just as if you were a person here right now, and not just a spirit. We heard a story about a uh, fumigator that was in here and he heard uh, Amelie call out to him and he left terrified, never came back. Well, I'm not afraid. I don't want you to be afraid either. Talk to me. Make your presence known, please. Why are you draining my equipment? Why? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you want your presence to be known. Well, now's your chance to talk. Give us answers. I just got chills on my right side. Can you take a picture of the right side of me, Stevie? It's starting to pick up. It's, it's getting a little bit of a spike. It's, it's, I feel the need. I'm going to go back a little further. Afraid? Back. I'm getting a lot of words now. If you can get closer with your microphone. I'm actually getting I'm actually getting sentences now. Can we try the ball again, Stevie? Ball again. My camera on my iPhone is actually malfunctioning right now. So I'm not surprised. It's messing with all the equipment. I'm pointing it at you. It won't let me take a live picture of you right now. It's messing. It's let me do it. He told us to come and Watch. Try it. Point yeah. it away. It lets me do it. I'm doing it. Point it at you. Is it because of Mikey's light, maybe? Just turn no. It. Lots of orbs. No. It won't take it. It says live off, and then the picture that was before it starts vibrating, but like from it looks like a uh, weight from the inside out. Okay, now I'm getting irritated. You told us to come in the attic. Come out. Talk to us. I'm not afraid. Why are you afraid? Every time we talked about attic, you know, EMF went off. Okay, we're in the attic. Attic. Attic, attic, attic. It won't let me do it. It will not let me do it now. I'll make myself comfy. I'm good to go. I know there's a demon in this place. I know there's ghosts in this place. There's a few different entities in here. Okay, so we're getting orbs in here. I'm getting little bits and pieces of uh, the EMF reader spikes, meter spikes, that's coming and going. Can you give me a name, please? I'm asking nicely, please. Are you playing games with me because you know I want to see you, you know I want to hear something, so you're going to be defiant and not do it? Are you is something oppressing Amelie and not letting her speak with me? I hear singing. Almost sounded like a old spiritual. Did you hear that? Like a little old gospel sounding? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. One investigation I did one time, my phone was fully charged. I got there. So was uh, my friends and the lady that was giving us a tour. All of her phones were charged. They all died in the middle of the woods. And as soon as we left the woods, they, the battery like recharged itself, they all worked again. And I caught tons of orbs on that investigation. 
So that's it's very commonly known for it to. Uh, well, a lot of these I didn't get anything. It is so it'll actually drain the energy of devices to make its presence stronger. So it could be just kind of like rebooting its energy right now, <laughs> and then maybe it's going to start talking to us. But anyway, I'd like for us to sit here a moment in silence and see if anything's going to speak with us. I'm sit down speak to us. I just got a sudden headache and uh, heat right here and yeah. nausea. Oh my god. Now that live is off, I've got a ton of orbs. Can we see it, please, the video? Let's see, let's see what the video picture looks like. So I... I don't think we... Oh, yep, yeah, there was one that went one. up from the floor. You saw that, Mikey? Mm -hmm. I saw that very clearly. Now, when I wasn't trying to take pictures of you and I was back over there, that one went down and up. You mm -hmm. saw it? Yeah. When I was over there in the corner... Yep. Oh, that was coming right towards the camera. They all were. Actually, this is... I was back here. Oh, so there was, one there. there was one there. There was one there. Oh. Want to wanna come in? <laughs> no. You don't... You Sam, don't stay there. Yep. A lot of a lot of orbs, orbs like oh, yeah. just tons. But it's draining my equipment. It screwed the volume on my little machine. We haven't heard anything. Um, we did get a name. Uh, we asked how many people died in the infirmary. We got the number twenty six. No, I'm sorry, six, six. six. Um, we got the name Everett by the tree in the back and up here. We asked where do you want us to go next, and it said we all heard attic. And when he was up here. Um, she had called out his name and left. So there was something, well, something back here her. in this spot. It was her, it was a little um, Cajun woman, and she called out to him in French. The, oh. the exterminator? Yes. And it was she was back here? Yes. Because something drew me to the very back here. Yeah. And I wanted to see And then there the is something. Chair. Like another little area or little room or something. Did y'all see that? Well, I was sitting in this little no. chair here. Look over there. That hole. Did you see that? Yeah, there's something. There's a hole in the wall right where my light is. There's something over there. They have a little room. Yeah, because okay? they were looking at something. There was something else back here. A little hole or something. They said there, there is. Another little room or something. And that might be it down there. You see that? Okay. There is a hole down there. Maybe more of the attic, I'm guessing, that got blocked off. That's what it looks like. Amelie, do you respond better to a man's voice? We're in the attic. Amelie, are you with us? Is there anybody in the, in the attic with us now? We have to leave here in a moment, so if you're here, please, now is your chance. We're not here to try to make you go away. We just want to see if you exist and uh, give us just some clarity or just some answers. Why did you want us to come to the attic? Just to drain our equipment? I'm not trying to be sarcastic, but that's what how it seems to, to turn out. I'm gonna turn my little spirit box on again here. Are you playing games with us, Amelie? That sounded like something. Hmm? I thought I heard something. You can speak to us in English, French, whatever you prefer, just... Is there an Everett here, or Amelie? Seems like it's uh, interacting more to people who are afraid than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I take a picture, Donna? Getting three there. Yeah, I wasn't getting this much of a spike back there, but I'm getting it here. This one. She felt the, the chest thing yes. before. Yes. Well, yeah, see that. like the heavy breath. She couldn't breathe. And we got some EMF in oh, there as well. Works. Okay. There's a you are. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Yeah, I was hearing a conversation through here, but let's see if we can get a little more clarity. It's so hard to hear since it messed with the volume. It's the same song it was playing in the attic. Music box, maybe? Like a little music box sound, like a child's music box. Dun, 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 dun.
And I'm getting a spike in here. I'm getting a spike here. There it went again. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody in the room with us? Other than that creepy little song that keeps playing over and over? It's been doing that since we got in the room, that little song. Is there a name? Can you give us a name? Fred? I hear male voices, female voices, and a child's in that song. Can you stop that song, please? Can you give us a name? Is there anything you want us to know about this room before we leave this room here in a minute? Sit down. It's like she said, sit down. Emily, are you here? I saw a little flicker when I called your name. I feel like somebody's playing games with us is what I feel like. Am I right? I keep playing that little song over and over. It didn't do that until we got into that room in there. Donna, has anyone ever complained of like hearing like a like, little music box sound or? This is like a little tune that keeps playing over and over. It didn't real start. Funny is it's funny, it's, it's like when you ask, it seems like it starts. It starts a little music, like it's playing games with me. Well, earlier when we were up here investigating, we got the room pregnant, and we got the word pregnant up here. Mm -hmm. I did hear the word dead at one point. Okay, so a family of four died in this room. How did they die? Can you give me any indication? Any? Anything you want to say? Yeah. yeah. How did you guys die? Yeah, I heard that too, but it's not giving me like, I want, I want detail. Can you please tell us how you died? How did the family die up here? What killed you guys? Yellow fever? It's not like blood. I yeah, heard blood, blood too. Like two or three times. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, you're scaring away Donna. What is going on? What killed you guys up here in this room? I did too. I did too earlier. Was it yeah. yellow fever? Yes or no? Can you just give me yes or no? Was it yellow fever? It sounds like I heard yellow so I heard yellow too. I heard yellow again. You got your answer. Okay. Probably Okay, it is the next morning here at T Frayers. I uh, had a very interesting experience last night. There were no other guests, and about, it was three o'clock on the dot, I was awakened by creaking on the wood floors, and I, I was half awake, half asleep to begin with, so when I heard that creaking, I was fully awake. I sat up, and it sounded as if somebody was walking around my bed, and I didn't feel as if anybody got in the bed, but I just heard the footsteps walking around the bed. And when I lit up my meter, it went up to brighter than it is now. I'm getting some, I am getting some uh, spikes on it now, but that night when I heard that footstep, the, the footsteps, it went really bright. 
So I, um, I want to pull out, so I decided to pull out my dowsing rods this morning and just ask a few questions here in Amelie's room to see if we can get any answers regarding that. See if she has anything she wants to say, but definitely getting some presence here right now in Amelie's room. These are dowsing rods. You can answer simple yes or no questions. Uh, let's say if the answer is yes, make the rods go apart from each other. If the answer is no, bring the rods together, please. So Amelie, are you here with us now in your room? Is your presence here, yes or no? As you can see, I'm holding very still. The rods are moving apart. Amelie, is there any other spirit in this room aside from you? Any other presence, any other spirit with you in this room with us now? Yes or no? Okay, I got a yes on that too. Okay, Amelie gonna get a little more personal now. Was your death suicide? Yes or no? You don't need to feel guilty or ashamed, you can tell me. Was it suicide? Amelie, was your death forced? Were you forced to commit suicide? Whether you were pushed or uh, guilted into it, yes or no? I'm getting a guess on that too. Yes. Woo! Amelie, the other body that was found in the well with you was that the body of your lover, the colored man that you were having an affair with that was found upon? Yes or no? Yes. One last question. And we'll wrap this up. Amelie, they say that there was a body buried on this land. Was that your body that was buried? Because they were not allowed to bury you on sacred ground back in those days because they frowned upon suicide and the affair. So is it your body that's buried in this land, yes or no? Okay, is it the body of your lover, the colored man you had an affair with, that's buried on this land, yes or no? Looks like I got a little bit of a yes on both. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you and your lover both buried on this land, Amelie? Yes or no? Try to hold them still. Big yes. So they're both buried here on this land. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so Stevie, as you were doing your uh, research on the property, which I'm really interested to hear about, I want to compare that to what I what I found out. Um, I did get some really good dowsing rod um, footage. Hold that thought. Mm -hmm. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Where is it? Uh, Donna. Hey Donna. Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Behind the steps. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we will hold that one momentarily. Oh, okay. Find it? Uh, Sarah, I'm gonna need you to wait outside of the door uh, for me while I'm in the bathroom, please. Why? Because um, I don't want to be here by myself. And I'm not locking the door. Oh my either. god. If I scream, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to go in the bathroom. So, uh, Stevie, while you were doing the, your, your background uh, research, about the Comos, mm -hmm. and your bloodline was a Como, since you're from here. Um, I did verify with the manager that Amelie was a Como, mm -hmm. so it was her uncle. And um, turns out, to sum it all up in a nutshell, uh, her lover was and never returned from Civil War. So she was grief stricken, not only from his death, also from the loss of her baby being stillborn. <coughs> she came here to live with her uncle. Her brothers lived here also. Her brothers lived in the Thado Do house in the back. Uh, she lived in this house with the uncle. 
uh, no, there's no documentation of what happened with her uncle, but she lived in, obviously until she died in, you know, in this house. She didn't want to return back to mama, as they said. So she stayed in this house, died in this house, had an affair with a colored man that was obviously frowned upon back in that era. Now, the uh, info that I gathered up with my uh, dowsing rods and the meter and, and our research that we did, uh, all points to what I believe, my theory, our theory, I should say, is that um, as she was living here, Everett, who possibly could have been a slave during that time, um, she had this affair with him. It was downed upon. He was forced into the well, according to my meter and my rods. Um, it seemed to be as if she was telling me he was forced, he was either hung in that tree first and then thrown into the well, mm -hmm. and she then jumped into the well. So her suicide felt forced, uh, is what the rods were telling me, uh, or validating. And um, it also validated that they are both buried on this land. Neither one of them would have been buried on sacred land during that time. Obviously, you know that even more than I do from being mm -hmm. from here. Um, so that's uh, that's what I pretty much gathered up in a nutshell. Okay. And the one thing, though, that makes me doubt that Everett was her lover, though, is the fact that back in those days, if he was Creole, it would have been pronounced Everett. But we clearly heard Everett on our spirit box mm -hmm. so that would be the one thing that would make me i would kind of wonder if maybe somebody did a seance or something and attracted something called someone named everett but that would be the only thing that would make me kind of doubt that but we probably yeah or maybe another spirit was saying what his name was and just exactly it the same way exactly but um everybody who's worked here has claimed that there is more definitely more than one paranormal mm -hmm. entity and then also they they'll try to speak to you and you know like the language that you know right most of the time anyway so sure. if he thought that everett made more sense then he might have done that too so well it was courteous of him yeah <laughs> well that wraps it up for spirit sisters thank you for watching and hope to uh see you guys soon on our next investigation yep